All right, what's poppin', my dudes? My name is Faris Hijazi. Today I'm going to be talking about hacking again. Today um, I'll be talking about hacking a Chrome extension. So there's a Chrome extension I hacked. Let me talk about what Chrome extensions are first. Um, I'm just going to give you an example. First, this is Google Chrome. I have Google Chrome open. And this is uBlock Origin. This is one of the extensions where you can add it. And then once you add it, for example, once you open YouTube, it'll block all the ads. This is an ad blocker. This is one type of extension, the most popular type. Uh, another thing is uh, this extension, which makes everything dark mode. So let me type in something randomly. And you see Google is dark. So that's what an extension is. It's a small piece of software that runs on your browser and could modify your pages. All right, so there's this extension, Tab Sorter 2. Let's add it to Chrome. This is the one I hacked because they are asking us to pay. So let's notice. Thank you for choosing Step Surger 2. We hope you enjoy. Blah, 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 blah. There are some features which are premium. So not all these features exist. We disable this. They want us to pay. Made with love? Not really. They want us to pay. Okay, so we have to enable this. Uh, what this extension does is basically it's a tab manager. For example, these tabs it can merge so if you have a bunch of uh, different windows so now this window is separate from this window so if you press merge all it's going to merge all of them this window is going to go back to this window uh, i don't want to press merge all because i have a bunch of other stuff open um we can sort so let's sort current oh okay so this is not in the f wait is it working sort tabs anyways so it's not everything is free okay so let's close this let's go back let me now that i have the extension installed let's go here scroll all the way down and this is the extension tab sorter 2 so this is tab sorter 2 if i open it not everything is available so i press something it says unlock premium unlock premium let's just see how much they they want us to pay four dollars five dollars per month unreasonable monthly payment to use these features unacceptable all right, so I just I was like, man, I really want to see if I can hack this because I was pissed. I was angry. Um, so let's go and check. Remember, the first step of hacking is that you want to use the software normally. You want to see how it's normally supposed to be used. So let's take a look at this. So here I'll put a bunch of stuff. So it wants me to put a credit card, obviously. Um, and let's go uh, powered by extension pay. I'm noticing down here powered by extension pay. So apparently this is some website which manages the payments, I'm guessing. So let's click on it and see what it does. Monetize Chrome extensions and save weeks of work. So basically, apparently this tool is some code that's ready and it's a service for the developer to manage the payment because the developer of this extension doesn't want to build the payment. It's, it's not easy to build a payment gateway. It takes time, save weeks. Cool. So these guys are cool enough to make the service and all you have to do, and here's how the developer of this extension. So remember, the developer of this extension is not the same developer as these guys. These guys give a service to make the payment easy for this guy. So let's look at these guys. Let's pretend we're the developer. Something, something, something. Let's just zoom in. Something, something, and then stuff, stuff. And then if user paid... Here you, you will put your app, you will unlock these pro features if it's paid. Else, ask the user to pay, open payment page, which is what happened to us. Okay, I see. So somehow we need to convert this to a true. We need this statement to be true. We need paid, not to be false, but to be true. Do you guys notice anything interesting here? I am. I'm noticing this is JavaScript. It says right here, background.js for the extension. So this is running on the extension, your extension, background.js. Now, what's interesting? Why am I interested in JavaScript all of a sudden? The reason is because JavaScript runs on our client. It runs on our browser, not on the server. What does that mean? Let's discuss that a little bit. So let's discuss a what, how, server and client. So when I type something something into my browser, I'm typing into my client. And then when I say enter, 
it's gonna send a message to Google. So if I'm Googling something, like cute cats, it's gonna send cute cats to the server. Hey, can I please have the search results? Server is gonna say, here you go, and it's gonna send them to my browser. And I'm gonna see it. So cute cats, boom. This is running in our browser. Now we can't, it's not easy to hack a server and tell the server what to do. We can only ask it to do stuff. But on our browser, we can modify stuff. We can delete. This is the code. This is the page, basically. Just like if on Microsoft Word, we can delete stuff, we can delete stuff on this page. So let's just start deleting stuff. Not only can we delete stuff, we can rename them. Um, yeah, I just typed this in. So here's, here's another way. So you can go into people's Twitter accounts and open and, and modify what they're saying. But this is not going to modify the actual tweet. It's only going to modify it on your browser. Now, if you notice here, as soon as I refresh, everything's back to normal. That's because I did not change it on the server. And sometimes, and that's, it, it's hard. So it's hard to change it on the server. Basically, imagine if I have a paper and I photocopied this paper and gave it to you. I gave you a photocopy. Can you modify this photocopy? Yes, you can. You can draw stuff on this photocopy. But will my original change? No, the, my original will not change. And that's the same thing here. Now, it's kind of interesting when you can change the page. But what's really interesting is when the code is on your side and you can do whatever you want with the code. So I hope that's clear. Uh, one more example is that imagine you are on your bank page, you're on your bank website, and you start changing the page and you have you set 1 million in your bank account is that going to change how much money you actually have the answer is no because this is just a report and you're changing the report it's not going to change the actual account okay now that the idea is clear of server and client let's get back to this all right so here's the extension which is not successful uh sorry not uh, hacked yet so somehow I need to access the code. So if you notice with your right click inspect element, this is actually the stuff. See, we can, we can start modifying the actual extension itself. We can start pressing delete. See, I just deleted the whole thing. Um, so basically, because the extension is running on our page, see how I can delete stuff? Because it's running on our client, our browser, it is up to us to change the code. Okay, now I can change it through here. However, it's much easier if I just download the entire code and I'll show you how in a moment. Okay, we're back. So I just quickly Googled, how do we get the code of these extensions? How do we access the code? And it turns out the code is available. Um, so I could go and open the website and do stuff, but I found that there's something easier. There's another extension which helps us download code for other extensions. So you download it. Now I downloaded it. Let's, and then it tells us we have to go to the page itself and right click download CRX for this extension. Um, basically, this is a tool that helps us download the code for other extensions. So let's close this and go back to tab sorter two. This is what we want to hack. We want the code so we can start modifying it. We want to change this paid into true. We need to set this to true so that we can get all the pro features. Just let's go, right click, download CRX, download zip, and we'll say yes, save. So let's just go quickly navigate to my downloads. And I notice here it is, tap sorter 2. So I'm going to unzip this. And that's the files. These are the files for the extension. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uninstall the official extension, remove from Chrome. Okay, now I don't have it anymore. However, there is a way, since we have the code here, we're going to load this code and run it. Nothing's going to happen because we didn't modify the code yet. So what you do is you go to the extensions page. This is all the extensions. You go to developer mode, enable it, so, you, uh, so it allows you to load files. Load unpacked extension. 
and go to tab sorter 2 that's the extension folder and select notice it's as if we just installed it it opens this page it's it act it's acting exactly like we just installed it from the store itself so let me close this let me oh go here and i found tab sorter 2 i'm just going to pin it up here so we can see it and it's the same but it does work it does have the features good we know we have it and now all we have to do is modify the code so let's go here and we, these are the code files .js so all the .js uh, I'm not sure which one I have to modify so we can just open all of them but these are just text files so you edit and here it is it's code but if you notice this is really difficult to understand M N. what are these the, the developer actually on purpose changed all the names instead of user and client number account instead of all these meaningful names they replace them with single letters so that it will be hard for people like me to hack them but this is not going to stop me so i'm just going to right click and open uh, you can open them with any editor like notepad but i like to use vs code so i'm just going to open it with vs code and what we want to search for is definitely the js files these are the javascript files which have the code the rest of the stuff this is not really code this um this is just configuration telling us the names but okay let's get back so let's go here and let's we want to control f search for paid we want to search for paid i'm noticing we're f we're finding a few paid that's good but the nice thing is vs code has an option to search all the files instead of one file at a time so let's go to this icon search all files and i want to go not just i don't just want to go to paid so we notice it's user.paid. So let me search for user.paid and I get extension pay user. I'm getting one paid at. I'm not getting paid. So if you notice up here, so I'm just going to zoom in. Paid at. This is not what we're looking for. If you remember, remember all those ugly variable names? A, B, C, C, and so probably user, the name user has been removed. So let me delete that. Oh, and we have a bunch of extra options. So it's U up here. You can see that there's a U, U.paid. So let's just go to every single one of these. So I'm, I noticed we have U.paid and B.paid, G.paid. So we just go over here and replace it with true. So we go to every single one and then B.paid because I, I saw this a moment ago, and g.paid, replace it with true. Cool. Now let's open it. Nothing has happened. That's because we have to go to the extensions. And where are we? It's, uh, hold up, tab sorter. Okay, this is the one that's active. This is the one I'm working on. I already hacked this one before. So let's go to refresh. Open. Boom! All the options are now available. Get Pwned, hacked. This is uh, basically all we did is we just downloaded the code, modified some stuff, and ran it. But I'm going through the entire process. Um, in the description, I'll link uh, any details. I'll link all the code, the GitHub, everything. Um, but but yeah, I hope the idea was clear. All we did is I just took a look. How is it working? And it's using an if statement on our PC. Anytime you use something on the client's PC, they can modify it. Um, so yeah, like he tried to ch make it, uh, to change all those variable names. So to ugly stuff, so we can't understand. And that's true. I can't understand, but the paid is still there. So all we have to do is change the paid. All right. I need to go to sleep. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and please, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if anything was meaningful, not meaningful. Anything was confusing. Was I too fast? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Adios.